Good morning, modern steaders. Look at them pigs. They're going to town over here. We'll be moving them out of this area before we know it, raking it up and getting it planted to grass seed, guys. You're doing a good job. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this area looks like once all the pigs are done. You can see they've been using their water bubbler over there. It's all covered in mud. Good morning, girls. I hear the babies. Have you ever had one of those mornings when your alarm clock goes off and you're like, man, where am I? What day is it? What's going on? Yeah, this morning was one of those mornings for me. It took me probably a good a couple of minutes, but it was probably like 10 seconds of going, what day is today? Where am I? Do I need to get up? What's going on? And then I went, oh yeah, we need to get up. I think climbing up and down, up and down on the roof the other day. Took a little toll on my body, made me a little sleepy last night. Hi huh, kiddos. Thank you, Willow. Here come the kiddos. Watch out. Little P's like, all right, I'm over the milk. Little man, you are too. Maggie's like, nah, I'll still take some mama's milk. I'll still take some of mama's milk. Morning, Figaro. He's gonna kick your butt. You ain't get one of those paws across the old face. Ooh, he almost got ya. The girl's ready to come out. And Moose. We need to grab a few tools that we haven't used in the barn build yet. Gonna need this. And we're gonna need our drywall tee. Just what I was looking for. <clears throat> We're gonna have to cut some metal roofing today. So, in anticipation for that, hey look, I already got one on there. Sweet! I picked up a blue fire metal cutting blade. And I already got one there. Got my wood blade here. And look at that. I got a DeWalt one right here. Sheesh. We are all set. Let's see if you can see on camera. Because we had to cut our rafters back to 116 inches, because we're gonna be doing eave overhangs on this side. We need to cut back our roofing material, which is 130 inches right now. I need to cut that back to 116 inches. 10 sheets offloaded. That'll probably do. I'm gonna need these for sure. This. These again. I go 116 
This should be 130. Yeah, 130. We're gonna cut it back to 116 inches right there. Again. Because that's gonna go up. Yep, I just wanna make sure we're cutting the right end off, guys. 116. Boom, I like that line. We don't wanna go any deeper than say, two and three eighths. So let's set our depth on our saw. Two and a quarter. As deep as that's gonna cut, anyways. Here we go. Might be too much for the old saw. Oh, we're cutting into the concrete. Don't. We don't want to do that. There we go. It'll work out for the saw. Now we're not hot, so that's a good thing. Let's keep going. Those old humperoonies are quite a bit to cut into. Let's spin it around, cut that one first, and work our way back in. Not liking that. I've never had that happen before cutting metal with the saw. Don't like that one bit. Have to put tape on it next time. Nice! Look at that. Good cutting. I like it. We need our pencil, and then we need our carpenter's notebook right here. That's what I call a carpenter's notebook. So, we know, should've brought a clamp up here. So if we go two inches down, and then we go four. So we wanna go two inches, no, sorry. Four inches. And then if we go, 13 inches, we're center. And then we go 33. Thirty-three. And then fifty-three. And then 73, should be every 20 inches. But let's just keep going, 93. Just really double check all of our handy work. 93 and then 113, 113. So this is where our screws are gonna go. This first one, we need to overhang two inches. So it'll be about there. 
so we won't screw our first one on that pattern until we get to 16 inches ish 16 inches over that'll make sense in a minute i believe let's do this you don't have to do this step but it saves a lot of aggravation up in the air and it saves a lot of wasted fallen screws that's for sure oh, let's do this it might take a little bit of time down here but trust me in the long run it is worth it four inches and then it was 13 inches and it was 33 inches 53 inches 73 inches 93 inches and then 113 inches okay let's do the same thing on this one 113. Yes, a 532nds drill bit. <sighs> Let's start drilling. Let's see how drilling through 10 layers of tin goes. Bad. I'm on my sixth hole and this drill bit is already super dull. That there, I brought our regular drill out. It's actually got a little bit more weight behind it so it might help drill better too. Broke that bit. Good thing we got more. These are just cheap, cheap, cheap bits. All right, these are done. It's definitely a warm one. Water, a sip of coffee. Mm. More water. See if we can get it some kind of ledger board in place. I'll come down. I don't know. I'll have to see. Let me get one up and see how it sits if we do this. All right, that's a good enough to hold it. We'll get the stage and raised. And we'll get this first piece up and we'll see what we look like. And they give you a little bit of extra grip too. Alright, so let's get this one up and in place. it up a little bit higher than I would like. I like how it holds it. Just don't like how it holds it up. So there's gonna be something else we can do. Perfect. We can do something like that boys. I like that. And we can look down and go yay or nay. Some more. That works. 
works. I'll leave that right there. Need to get this two inches over. Two inches is right there. Oh, two and a half. Right, so we need to go like that. And that. Ah, no, that's fairly even right there. Let's go down there and double check. But that's looking good there. As long as I like it there. Good here. You can start really screwing it in place. Let's get another piece up before we get too crazy. I don't want to put too many screws in. Boom, shakalaka. on that side. Like this, like so. So now this locks down that. This up and over. I like that. Okay. So now, this. How's that? Curious to see how it's looking from old eagle eyes. You guys get to see the bird type thing as I'm putting each sheet up more than I do. We need to get those screwed in, but we can do that after. All right, let's set this board again, because this does help. We don't need to keep it there forever but it definitely helps. Set this over some. I think they'll be good. Gloves. it up on the ridge. Hook it up over each piece of strap in. Get her down. Let's check this edge. Alright. That edge right there flush. So what we need to do is get that flush like so. This one into place like so. That didn't fall any further. And then, and then, we need to, ooh. Do that. That keeps us straight here and there. Let's 
get this in position first, like so. I like it. Bada boom, bada bing. For some reason, I forgot to mark one. Not the end of the world. Let's go over here. And now all of our rows are beautifully straight. And when I'm looking down from the house and the sliding glass door, I won't see screws that are all over the place. These screws have a crushable rubber washer on them. That's what seals them and makes them watertight. Let's go grab our next one. Nope, wait a minute. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think that's so funny we forgot one screw hole. At least it's up high and it'll be hidden under the ridge cap. my edges and joints are lined up flush. Yeah. He's sweating today. the breeze. True test, we're on a rafter. Boom, looks like the same space in there as it does up here. Ride it on the ridge, it seems to work. So close. Make sure this edge is nice and flush. I like it. That it's flush. Getting there, we are getting there. Ah, I missed one, darn it. I'll have to go back up. I'd rather know I missed it now than later. It's the far edge one, too. I'm surprised I missed it. Oh, 
almost out of water. Or we forget. I want to get up here and get this edge screwed on. Whew. Oh, sweet. We can reach all these screws too. I don't want a big wind gust coming in, blowing this on us, guys. That would not be good. Now we need to figure out where we want to drill these so we can come. Let's do. What did we do? Where's the marker? We went 4, 13, 33, 53. Let's do that again right here. Let's go. 4. 13, 33, 53. I don't want that falling. All right, now you guys can see what the difference is drilling one of, the, one of these through the tin or pre drilling. Where are you gonna feed the pigs today? Um, I don't know. Wonder where they're hiding. Hey, piggies! Oh, they're inside. Hey, pigs! What are you doing? Louise has got the food for you. Don't touch it. Okay. They want it. You're all waiting for hay, maybe? All waiting for hay, they still got hay in their feeder. They have food in front of them 24 seven. And they always want me to bring them in new fresh stuff. You're nice and cool on the white. The black is nice and hot. Oh yeah. And the white is cold to touch. What are you doing? She wants to say hello. Where's Hope hiding? I don't know, but apparently now I'm gonna ride Willow. Hope, I should have known you were in there. Willow she came wants up in between my legs. Crazy Willow. Oh, Willow. and then little peas on her back. Is that what you wanted? You want me to open up the back pasture? Stan is scared you. So, do you think more eggs or less eggs than yesterday? Uh, maybe more. I don't know. Maybe. Like Eight, 
10, 11, 12, 14, 16, that's it. A little bit less than yesterday. Yeah, so four less. Yep. She's acting like she doesn't know how to get in. She's gonna fly. Just wait. Ready? Here she goes. It's like she like pushes up on the thing. And then Moose chases her. Yep, and then she runs, and then she tries to run and get the food. It sure is nice to get the roof up. The very beginning of it went kind of slow, cutting ten sheets of tin took a little bit of time, and then drilling them. I'm gonna have to run out tonight, pick up a new drill bit. The ones that I was using, they were brand new, but man, they were dull. That shouldn't take as long as it took me. It probably took me almost 45 minutes or so to drill all ten sheets. It shouldn't take that long, so tonight I'll have to run out, pick up a new drill bit, and then tomorrow. I'm going to do some thinking tonight, and I think tomorrow we might start on the other side. You'll have to stay tuned. I have a reason for that. I think it's going to make the whole process go a lot easier. And if you guys are ever going to be doing tin, I think you might like to see this. So thanks for watching. This has been such a fun project. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Thank you.